Da -da -da -da. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a very special unboxing vlog here. As you can see, we have obtained our Harley Quinn and the Gotham Girls Booster Brick. Um, before we get crack a lacking and open up our stuff, I actually have a little list I'd like to go over. Uh, just as a little thing, these are bait. As I, if I get these pieces, I'm going to check them all. These are my most wanted pieces and my least wanted piece. I hope very much I do not check Lou all. Basically, uh, the most wanted Chasers or Prime I'd like from this set is the Lex Luthor, God of Apocalypse. Batman, the God of Knowledge. The Wonder Woman Chase. Or the Harley Quinn Green Lantern Prime, which would be 53B. I do believe. The other pieces I would very much like from this set, from the regular sets, are the uh, Harley Quinn Red Lantern, 53A, the Harley and Ivy team-up piece, and the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. As far as the bombshell sub-genre we got here, I would very much like a Supergirl, Power Girl, Batgirl, Poison Ivy, and Zatanya. My least wanted that would extremely disappoint me, and if I get him you will see the look on my face, would be Lou. If you don't know who Lou is, it is Harley Quinn's pet hyena. Imagine spending a hundred bucks to get a hyena, Norman. Do. Anyway... Before I get started, I'd like to say that this booster break came to us from the good people at uh, Noble Knight Games. Them and Troll and Toad are actually my two favorite places to get Heroclix stuff. Uh, Noble Knight takes very good care in uh, your order. They take very good pride in it. In fact, they wrapped this up in some very high quality wax paper, made sure it didn't move around, marked it fragile. In the past, I've ordered some pieces from them single, and they actually took enough care to clean them before they shipped them. Noble Knight are very uh, honest people. So I trusted from the beginning this would be good. If you're wondering why the plastic is torn, uh, Norman and I did that ourselves. To make it easier. Alrighty. Take a booster, any booster. Woo! Exacto the... knife to the rescue. Yes. These are very sharp. If you get one, be very careful. I'll put it like this. I used one of these to cut open the tape on the shipping box and it cut the box itself instead of the tape. Alright, that's the tape off. No residue from recent glue, so that's uh, promising. These are completely untampered. And see what we got in our first package. Oh You want to hold Lord. the tray up? Ooh, it's something indeed. Oh, it's low. I'm not joking. It's, it's freaking low. Ooh, it's harsh. Well, hopefully you get some kick butt super rares and maybe get the Harley Quinn 53A. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll actually get a, uh, I might get another piece. Who knows? I mean, it's unlikely, but... Wah, 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 wah. Uh, if you're wanting to... Wa if oh, negatory, buddy. This is an uncommon, is it not? It's an uncommon prime. Oh, I'm sorry, people. It is a true bow, wah, wah. They did uncommon primes in general. It really stings. Alrighty, let's take a look at a. Uh, if you want to see how bad Lou is, this is a prime. Hold still. Blow. Okay. 
like this legitimately. Oh, well, at least uh, he has penetrating poison, I guess. I uh, guess it's one thing. Um, I got my first repeat of the set. Not like from the set itself, but I got my first repeat of a piece I previously had. This is the Asylum Doctor. Uh, she's a very shallow point character, like uh, 20 points. I actually got her in my very first booster pack I ever bought which is from this set. Um, basically, she has incapacitate, sidestep, she can perplex opposing characters, and then she can outwit them, but only to target the person she perplexed. And they have to be 50 points or less. She's alright if you want a shallow dial character, but she's not spectacular. Strategically, she could possibly be a nuisance to Before your Before I get to the big piece you saw, I'm going to show you the other one I got. And I'm kind of interested in I won't lie. I did not get the God of Knowledge, but I got a Batman for sure. I've got to get him out of his wrapping. Got a Batman. Dun, 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 dun. This is a regular Batman too, it isn't the Thrill Killer Batman. Alright, he has the keywords Batman Family, Gotham City, Justice League, and Detective. All this training, free, choose sidestep or willpower, and Batman can use the chosen power for this turn. If you're unfamiliar with willpower, that basically makes it so that uh, you don't take pushing damage. You still... No, you don't take damage from pushing, do you? I do believe. Um, Not when you have willpower. Well, this Batman has it throughout his whole life as a trait. So no pushing damage. Running Shock, Flurry, Leap Line, Toughness, Combat Reflexes, and Outwit. 65 point value, 5 clicks, solid. You kick lose bot. Mm. Especially with that Flurry. Well, I almost uh, sent Plastique here flying. I'm not super familiar with Plastique, if I'm being honest with you as a character. But, uh, here's what Plastique can do. She's got... She's from the Suicide Squad. Has the Suicide Squad team ability. When Plastique is KO'd, reduce your action total by one until the end of your next turn. So it's not a very useful team ability for you. She has a special ability on her attack called Explosive Touch. Make a close attack targeting all adjacent opposing characters. Hit characters or dealt one penetrating damage instead of normal damage. And you destroy all blocking terrain adjacent to hit characters. She also has sidestep, toughness, and combat reflexes. She's only 50 points with 5 clicks. So she is a Suicide Squad member. Hopefully I get a few more to make getting her worth it. Now, Giganta. This woman is a uh, giant, like Norman's Earth X. As you can see from the fact that she has a small base, but a big model. She seems pretty decent, too. She's worth 90 points, but uh, she starts out with 9, 10, 18, and 4. She gains exploit weakness and close combat uh, expert throughout her dial. She is, she has only six of us from the Secret Six. Stealth, but only if your character, if your force has three or more characters. Uh, unhindered movement, but only if your character has five characters or more, or your force. Modify all combat values plus one, but only if your force has exactly six characters. So it's kind of a unique one. Situational, but unique. You're only going to make her angry. Free. If Giganta has two action tokens, she gets colossal damage until her next turn and she may make a close attack. After resolutions, you deal her one unavoidable damage. Hydrating, my man. And the work is hard, people. We got a charge, flurry, plasticity, invulnerability, toughness, exploit weakness, a close combat expert. 
we'll look at her dial. She only has six slots, but they're very good six slots. Hold it still. Oh yeah, that's a good slot. And this is a little look at her. Dun 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 dun. I kind of like her sculpt. I really like her sculpt. As she well. will crush you, puny people. It has a lot of detail on it, so even though I got Lou, I'm kind of happy with Giganto. I don't think that relationship would work. I'm sorry, you're too tall. I'm gonna put my little booster brick here, and uh, this is the little plastic sleeve Giganto came in. It's gone on the floor, and uh, there was a card pack. All right, come on, red and black Harley. Me some sort of bombshell. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Dramatic music. Me, if I'm lucky, I'll be one of the few that gets two chases, a set, two chaser primes per set, and I'll actually get something worthwhile and not just Lou. Yeah, that's some old glue. Oh, hello, hello, hello. That looks promising. It seems I have a uh, Batwoman bombshell. Neat. Let me get her out. I got a. I also have uh, two repeats in here. Uh, not repeats from uh, that grouping, but a repeat from my uh, that I already had from my first booster pack again. But I'm gonna first take a peek at a uh, Batwoman. Literally. <laughs> Literally Batwoman. Just a baseball bat. A little bit bent from Take that. me out to the ball game. Take me yeah. out to the game. Uh, she has five slots. As you can see, she is the first card in my pack. With that silver colored tab, she's a rare. Neat. Um. She is Catherine Kane. She has the bombshell ability, which I very much like, much to Norman's d hatred. Mm -hmm. When Batwoman makes an attack targeting an opposing character, that's whether she hits or she fails. So she gets this either way. She gets a bombshell token. Free action. If she has two action tokens, remove the two bombshell tokens, then make a close attack for free. Norman really doesn't like that ability, but I love it. And I intentionally whip out the end Hulk every chance I can when he does that. She's actually my third bombshell. My first two was a Wonder Woman and a Harley Quinn. Uh, she has helping out the team and power, but only if Batwoman is adjacent to a friendly character with the bombshell's keyword. So she doesn't have a secondary bombshell ability, but she does have a support ability. She's pretty good with them. She's got Charge, Flurry, and Capacitate. Combat reflexes, energy shield deflection, and outwit. Uh, she's worth 60 points, and her combat reflexes buffs her defense to 19 at a close range from uh, 17. Nice. She's solid. Next, you saw the Asylum Doctor. Well, I raise you a Dr. Harling Quinzel. She's actually like a buffed Asylum Doctor, in the sense she has a deeper dial, but only a double point cost. I don't know what came over me. Friendly characters named the Joker have power. Give adjacent friendly character named Har Dr. Harleen Quinzel an action at no cost. I see, so you're the real victim here. Perplexed, but only to target opposing characters. Outwit, but only to target the target of her perplex, and if it's 100 points or less. So it's the Asylum Doctor's ability, but double. She got Sidestep Charge, Flurry, Blades Lost Fangs, Willpower, Defend, Energy Shield Deflection, Support, Enhancement, Close Combat Expert, and Exploit Weakness. Got the Ark of Asylum and Scientist keywords, and this is a little look at her dial. Hmm. So, this is Dr. Harley Quinzel, which was uh, Harley Quinn before she was Harley Quinn. Quinzel or Quinzilla? Oh, oh, Quinzilla. 
these next two are pieces that are that I had from previous boosters, but I'm gonna show you them anyway. No 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 catman Wow. Kinda sucks honestly, but like I'm being honest with you, he's not that good. I've only played like a couple matches with him. He only has two clicks of life throughout his whole dial. That's one of the reasons I kind of say blah. Hmm. He doesn't have anything that can boost that either. He does have probability control, but for only two damage. So if your character has invulnerability, it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> he has only six of us, which is the same thing as Giganta. Charge, sidestep, blades, claws, fangs, precision strike, close... Combat reflexes, super senses, regeneration, exploit weakness, and probability control. I'm not going over him much, but there you go. For now, thou are not worthy. Now this guy, I actually kind of like for the fact that he's a shallow character. And Norman can attest he's actually pretty solid, so if you want one, you ought to get one. Kind of hard to take out the box. This is now a, this one's worth you getting close up for. This is a Paul Kirk Manhunter. He's a rare, I do believe. Common. Y tab. Ah. Uh, sorry. But he has both range and close combat expert throughout four of his six slots, as you can see here. Along with combat reflexes. Hold that card still. Regen because for 50 point value, this character is ridiculous. He gets sidestep, precision strike, blades, claws, fangs, energy shield deflection, combat reflexes, regeneration, range combat expert, and close combat expert. He has the keyword soldier, martial arts, detective, and all-star squadron. If you're wondering why particularly that's a good ability, it's because uh, the various bombshell characters do things if they share the soldier keyword, so he'd be a good one to put on your force with them. Our next one is a character I was kind of hoping to get, honestly. Mostly because I have another version of him. Hmm. Everybody give it up for the Clown Prince of Crime, the Joker. And those are fishes in his hands. How fishy. <laughs> he has a seven slots of life, so he's slightly deeper down what we've pulled so far with a point value of 80. Batman enemy team ability. The Joker fish. I think it's a lamprey. Poison. When Joker uses it, it is penetrating. Mm. So he's got some penetrating poison. The old two step. Side step. Regular poison. Energy explosion. Mastermind. Willpower, Outwit, and Perplex. Pretty simple character, but I was really hoping to get him, so I'm happy I got him. Hmm, it's a pretty deep dial for a Joker. He is. Well. Two box down, eight to go. So far I've had some decent characters, but I ain't got anything mind boggling. Dun, 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 dun. All right, the exacto knife. Remember, I said this thing's sharp enough to cut through a several inch thick uh, cardboard box like I was cutting through tape. No joke. And I got my first repeat. My first uh, real repeat. And I got something that Norman's going to like, because I told him if I got another one, he could have her. Okay, my first real repeat of my set is Paul Kirk Manhunter. What do you expect for commons? To be fair. They're multiplying, people! They're multiplying! And obviously I'm not going to, uh go over him again because he's a comp because he's a repeat but I do happen to have now this is a character I have one of and I told Norman I'd give him one if I got another Wonder Woman bombshell Norman take a look at your bombshell girl 
Dun 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 dun. Now you see, the reason Norma doesn't like facing Wonder Woman is because of how competent she is. You see, I generally pair this Wonder Woman with a Harley Quinn bombshell that has Perplex. Her base defense is 18 with Invincible, but she has an ability called Fight in Close Quarters. That gives her combat reflexes throughout her whole dial. So her 18 becomes 20, and her Perplex, and Harley's Perplex turns out to 21. And makes her extremely solid and hard to hit, as Norman has discovered. Oh, yeah. And even more than that, you know that bombshell ability I mentioned earlier? She has something else she could use the bombshell ability for. When Wonder Woman is hit by a ranged attack, you may remove any number of bombshell tokens up to the damage dealt by the attack. After resolution, each eight adjacent opposing character is dealt X amount of damage, where the X is the number of bombshell tokens you remove. Say somebody hits her with uh, four damage from a range and she's adjacent to three characters. If I have, say, four bombshells on her, I can remove all four of them and deal four to everyone around me. Ooh. That's uh, the greatness of her fighting close. It's forward. like Mastermind in a sense. It's like a buffed Mastermind. She also has a battle leader, which is leadership. When Wonder Woman uses it, after resolutions, you may roll a d6 for each other friendly character with a bombshell or soldier keyword within four square and line of sight. If Wonder Woman has two action tokens on her, you may also roll for her. On a five, the leadership succeeds. On a six, it not only succeeds, but you remove all action tokens from that character, not just one, but all of them and you modify their attack plus one till your next turn. So she could roll leadership for everyone you have as long as they share a bombshell or soldier and they're within her line of sight in four squares. And she has two tokens, herself as well, and whoever she's adjacent to. Hmm. So that's a very strong leadership. She also has charge, sidestep, super strength, invincible, vulnerability, toughness, and close combat expert. She has a very nice dial, though she kind of drops off towards the end. Hmm. All in all, completely solid for her 120 point cost. I'm going to take a Paul Kirk Norman as well. Yeah, sure, why not? Next one up is Stompa. I'm not too familiar with Stompa. He's rather decent dial. He has six slots and maintains a three damage throughout most of them. That's all right. Hmm. The Will of Apocalypse. Oh, this Stompa is one of the fe is the one of the female furies of Apocalypse's uh, women. The Will of Apocalypse. When Stompa hits until your next turn, she has protected from outwit. Opposing Perplex, Exploit Weakness, and Penetrating Psychic Blast. That's actually pretty good. She has Antimatter Boots, Quake. Once per turn, when Stompa hits with a close combat attack, after resolution, she may use her Quake as a free action at no cost. Charge, Sidestep, Quake, and Vulnerability and Toughness or other abilities. She's solid. Female Furies. Stompa. I stompa you. Yeah. Put her right next to Harley. But, Norman Knight, the only Wonder Woman I got. This dun, dun, one, dun, dun. This one seems to be from the Justice Society of America. So she still. has the JSA team ability. So she's the older school type of Wonder Woman. She is. Uh, she has Amazon, Justice Society, and Warrior. A simpler time. Once per turn for all characters with this trait, if a character uses the JSA team ability and replaces its defense value with the Wonder Woman's, that character can use energy shield deflection. Acting as secretary means keeping you guys straightened out. Wonder Woman and friendly characters within six squares are considered adjacent to each other if they have the JSA team ability. That could work against you, too. Hmm. 
Sidestep, toughness, combat reflexes, and power, and close combat expert. If you're wondering what the close combat reflexes buffs her defense to, it's 18. Unfortunately, she only has 4 clicks of life and at 40 points. Still pretty solid for 40. 10, 8, 10, 17, and 3 is nothing to complain about for a 40 point character. Yep. The last one I got is a police officer. Who knows, maybe she'll kill uh, Ragnarok Thor like Harvey Bullock did. Hmm. Renee Montoya. Honestly, she looks just like the corrupt cop from the Fast Forces set. Didn't have the same weird ability, though. For context, that piece has an ability where she basically keeps reviving herself. Because there's always more corrupt cops. Hmm. With all the evidence I got, you're finished. When Renee Montoya uses the police team ability and other characters are you or using it, damage dealt from the attacker can't be reduced below one. Stealth, charge, incapacitate, toughness, combat reflexes, reflex, and empower. Her defense with her reflexes are 18. She has four clicks of life at a 50 point cost. Hmm. She's alright. Well, that's three out of uh, seven. You mean three down, seven to go. Indeed. Dun, 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 dun. Indeed. interesting. Like, I'm gonna pull her out and show you her sculpt, because I actually really like this sculpt. Look at that. Mad is right. Mm. I got another thrill killer Harley Quinn. She, too, she's not a repeat, but I got a thrill killer from the Fast Forces set, so this is a different piece altogether. Seriously, uh, if you got Fast Forces, you're going to have a duplicate of that in the pack itself, but they have different abilities. I also have a pretty nice looking sculpt. Alright, Mad Harriet. She's part of the Female Furies. I will come to get you. So she has the same ability, Will of Apocalypse, as uh, Stompa, where she has protected from outwit, per opposing perplex, exploit weakness, and penetrating psychic if she lands a hit. She has power spikes, blades, claws, fangs. When Mad Harriet uses it and the dice result is 1 through 2, she deals penetrating damage. See, even if you fail at getting a high roll, you still get penetrating damage. So, no invulnerability and her toughness can knock that off. Hmm. Three to four, after resolution, she gives their, the target an attack token, an action token. So, uh, say she deals you four damage, you also get incapacitated. She has leap climb, regular blade claws, fangs, combat reflexes, toughness, and battle fury. I'm um, glad she has her Blades Gloss Fang ability and her regular Blades Gloss Fangs her whole life because she actually only does two damage. Hmm. But uh, it's a good thing she has her Blades Gloss Fangs. She has 50 point cost. Honestly, for the Blades Gloss Fangs, I think she's actually pretty good. Now uh, I'm going to pull out Stephanie Brown. I do not believe that Stephanie's going to be amazing, but I actually. <laughs> But I actually really wanted her simply because I want to collect the various Robins. This is the Robin Stephanie Brown. She is from Robin number 127. Her start, she starts out at 8, 10, 17, and 2 with a 55 point cost. She has Perplex. 
or games. Robin is KO'd, remove an action token from each friendly character. It actually benefits her to be a Shallow Dial piece with that. Because if she gets KO'd, your action tokens are removed, so that actually kind of benefits her light dial. Running Shot, Leap Climb, Incapacitate, Precision Strike, Super Senses, Energy Shield Deflection, and Perplex. Not saying much more about her, it's just that I really wanted her because I won all the Robins. Next, I'm going to do Mercenary, because she looks tough as nails. Looks can be deceiving, though. Seriously, look at that. I like that sculpt. She has a pretty legit sculpt. I'd give up. You guys looking for help? If your force is only characters named Mercenary, after resolution, KO all friendly characters named Mercenary. What? <laughs> Wait a minute, repeat that one more time. If your force is only characters named Mercenary, after resolutions, you KO all friendly characters named Mercenary. Wow. That's a self-destruct. What can I say? I have a self-destructing attitude. Well, I guess that makes sense, though. Are Mercenaries really going to keep fighting for you if your force is destroyed? <coughs> Expendable. I guess it makes sense. She has stealth, sidestep, willpower, and range combat expert. Only a three dial, but she's got the range combat expert and the willpower, so I guess that's all right. And eh, eh. not really. She's a self-detonating bomb. Poo poo. Cool sculpt though. All right, this is Thrill Killer Harley Quinn. A uh, version of her comes in the uh, Fast Forces set, but this isn't her. This is different. She got Thrill Killer sixty two. When any character is KO'd by an attack after resolutions, remove an action token from her. That goes for any Thrill Killer piece. She's got Blade Skulls, Fangs, Wolf Power, Combat Reflexes, and Shape Change. She's not actually uh, Harleen Quinzel. Her name is Haley Fitzpatrick. Thrill Killer is like an alternate timeline. And I'd say it very much is because Batman, Robin, and Batgirl use guns in that one. And Joker's a woman. She's only 20 point cost, and that's all she's capable of. Very uh, shallow dial. Eh, another one for my Harley set. Guess I can't really say that much against her. Alright, there goes another plastic holder. And this is Jeanette. She is a Secret Six member. So she has the Secret Six team ability I mentioned earlier. She has Provoking the Banshee. Toughness. Jeanette takes a maximum of one damage from attacks unless the attack roll is doubles. Hey, basically in order to do any more than one click of damage... Provoking the Banshee. Toughness. Jeanette takes a maximum of one damage from attack unless the attack roll is doubles. What that basically entails is that in order to break her defense, you not only have to break her defense of 17, you gotta roll a double of some kind. That's kind of tough, so it's difficult for her to get more than one click at a time. She also has sidestep, running shot, telekinesis, pulse wave, energy shield deflection, and regeneration. We'll, work. we'll look at her dial. Number 39 of the set. Hmm. And, uh... She's actually a rare, too. Silver tab. Hmm. Rare. Alrighty. Mm, Alright, four down, six to go. Which one will I it be? I guess I'll start clearing the middle one since no one's trying to film for a while. <laughs> yeah. Your force field is not impenetrable after all. My barrier? Whatever. This Another is Dragon's barrier, so your camera takes one click. Ah! One click dealt. Looks like another repeat. Three repeats, actually. Ooh. Or is it? That could be a different Batman, but... Norman, you're a lucky day. You get a Joker. And you get an Asylum Doctor. 
Number 14 is the Batman we did before. Is that a 14? Nope, it's 29. We got a different one. So, Norman, you won a Joker and an Asylum Doctor. Dun, 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 dun. But I'm starting out with the piece I like to mess up the most. This little grouping. Because it's one of the pieces off my card. Batgirl! Bombshell! Oh, nice. As such... My first check off of something good. She is a rare too. Look at her uh, stat line. Nice. Very nice, ain't it? You want to go over Batgirl first since she's in front of me? Of course. Let me just get the pack open. First, I'm going to sling you uh, Asylum Doctor and uh, Joker's card. All right, Batgirl. She's got the bombshell ability, but then she has an additional ability. Bloody Bell of the Ball. Steel Energy and Stealth. Batgirl starts the game on click number three. When she uses Steel Energy, she may heal past her healing line to get to the, those more intense clicks. Hmm. She has World War I Flying Ace, Super Senses. When attacked by a character with uh, Flight, modify her defense plus three. For the ability that is on, that gives her a defense of 20 and 19. She has Charge, Hypersonic Speed, my favorite, Blades, Claws, Fangs, Impervious, also my favorite, Exploit, Weakness, and Perplex. Whoops. She's number 37 of the set, and uh, I have really wanted her. She's a really cool character. Perfect for my Bombshell Forces. Uh, next up, I have a piece that's kind of sentimental to me, because you guys know I'm a Titans guy. I like the Titans. Well, this is a Hive Trooper. But he's just a grunt, so don't expect anything amazing out of him. Hive Trooper has energy explosion, toughness, and empower. Point cost of 15. Empower? He's a good support character, then. He has no damage over 1, though. I would use him for support, nothing more. He's sentimental simply because he's a Titans villain. Alright, now here is Throw Killer Batman. You're right, Norman. This was a different Batman. Alright. Ooh. <laughs> Anyway, he has a lot of different abilities there. Look at that. He's got several team abilities, the police, the Batman ally. He's got a uh, improved targeting of some kind. He's got a uh, Thrill Killer 62, which is when any character is KO'd after resolutions remove an action token from Batman. Enemy of Corrupt Cops. Friendly characters' defensive values can't be modified by opposing characters. So no perplex. No opposing perplex on defense. With him. Sidestep, running shot, incapacitate, willpower, toughness. Combat reflexes, outwit, and close combat expert. And he has a pretty solid stat line, I'd say. Solid enough. Um, and that is Thrill Killer Batman. Comes at a point cost of 70. You are definitely amassing an army over here. I'm gonna remove my other metal one. Bum, 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 bum. Come on, Red. Come on, Harley girl. Red Harley. I know you're in there. Please be in there. Harley, oh Harley, where art thou? Ah, uh, the glue, the glue wore out on this one. I got Knockout. Plastique again, Red Tornado, and another Prime! I'm not even kidding, it's another Prime. I got two Primes. Hmm. Nice. Can you say this is a Prime Booster Brick? As you can see, this is Sinestro Core, Harley Quinn, and she has a little green ring around her. Hmm. She's a Prime. Put her in front for the audience to get a closer view. 
I am was very much hoping that Har that I would get this Harley. Uh, she's not on my number one prime, but if I were to pick another prime from the set, I would want it would be her. Basically, she has Sinestro Core. I'm just hoping I get the red and black lantern too. All right, here she is. She is number 43B. Low green ring. Confirm she's a prime. Oh, for the audience. She is a rare prime because she has a silver tab on top of the green. She starts out with a dial of 10, 11, 17, and 3 for 100 point calls. She has 7 slots of life. Fear of Madness, Perplex, only modify a combat value minus 1. When Harley uses it, choose cl close or range. Unless it's the only character on an opponent's force, the target can't make that kind of attack until your next turn. So basically, if she does her perplex at a range and she picks the range, your opponent cannot use ranged combat attacks for the next turn. Hmm. If she does it at close, they can't use any close attacks. Well, unique perplex, and it's her trait. You afraid of my spike boxing gloves, toots? I'm not good impressionist. Knockback. Knockback damage dealt due to Harley Quinn's attack is increased by one. Hypersonic speed, my favorite. Running shot, pulse wave, toughness, energy shield deflection, enhancement, and exploit weakness. And I look, at her, still. And I look at her dial. I'm actually nice. very happy to get her. Shinestro Core Harley. And like I said, she is a rare prime. Nice. Next is the same character we had before, Plastique. Let me just go, yeah, she's the same character, pink body suit and all. Norman, you will want a plastique. Cool. You're starting that mass some characters. There's another, there's a piece Norman's particularly hoping I get, because I said I'd give it to him even if I don't get one. Really? Yeah, Which the, one? A Prometheus. Oh. I'll get to him if I get to him, but this here is Knockout. She has only six of us because she's secret six again. She's got what part of Suicide Squad, don't you understand? So she's part of the secret six and the Suicide Squad and the female Furies. So she has all three of those uh, trait abilities. Hmm. Uh, she also has charge, sidestep, super strength, toughness, combat reflexes, energy, no, and power, excuse me. Close combat expert. And that's a little look at her dial for 50 points. Not too bad. Mm -mm. That's knockout. But anyway, uh, if I get Prometheus, I'll explain them in detail. But what Norman would really like about him is the fact that he can download any attack power he wants to use when he wants. Cool. This chick looks like a uh, ripoff of X-23, if you want to be honest. <laughs> All right, let me get a close-up on her. Oh my goodness, it does. It's like DC's knockoff of X-23. She has only six of us, so she's secret sex. She has trained by my father, free. Choose close combat reflexes or exploit weakness. Scandal Savage can use this chosen power till your next turn. And she has wow. sidestep, flurry, precision strike, blades, gloss, fangs, glow power, regeneration, close combat expert, and outwet. Regeneration, just like X20, X23 would have. Trained by her father, just like X23, and blades, gloss, fangs, just like X23. <laughs> And for those wondering, I don't know who she is in the comics. I'm just making fun of the fact that she looks just like X-23. No offense is met. Four left. Already got through six of these. This here is Red Tornado. Huzzah. Ace. What? Is he wearing a bucket on his head? Yes. He's meant to be one of the Justice Society characters. So he looks a little campier, you know, Golden Age. Out. 
They must have lowered their standards to let him do. Simpler time. Uh, same ability as uh, one of my Batmans over here. Or the Wonder Woman. Uh, once per turn, for all characters with this trait, ability replace defense value. If attack mass, he will target one click. They one really one lowered over. their standards. Come and get it! <laughs> Uh, I yelled that because it has three exclamation points after it. Come uh, and get it! Subdue them with his buckets. Support. Double power. Place any number of uh, other friendly characters in four squares adjacent to Red Tornado and heal each place character with a Justice Society keyword one click. So, probably the first healer I have seen in this that can actually heal other characters. Which is a lot different from another game I played, but I'm not going to go any further. Sidestep, Defend, Regeneration, and Support. Hmm. That was okay at first, then drops off hard. Oh, you place Sc Scandal Savage on top of the card pile. Because she's scandalous. So scandalous. On Harley girl, I want you bad. I want my red and black Harley. Maybe a Supergirl of some kind. Ooh, I got Blast Sheena and I got a couple of uh, Thrill Killer characters. I got Big Tony. Oh boy, Big Tony. <laughs> I guess I'll start with Thrill Killer Batgirl, just to introduce her. I'm starting out with Thrill Killer Batgirl because I have her in her Fast Forces variation. Exacto knife. Tear open card pack. I cut a little bit of uh, Big Tony. Alright, Thrill Killer, number one. That's a peek at her dial. Hmm. The man can't hold us both back. Sidestep. Once per turn, when adjacent friendly characters moves, it may use unhindered movement. Sidestep. Incapacitate. Precision strike. Toughness. Combat reflexes. Close combat expert. She has throw killer 62 ability. Not gonna spend too much time on her simply because I already have her. In a way. At least no repeats for real here. As you can see, that Robin has guns. And it's not Jason Todd, it's Rickard Groshak. William, watch out! He's pointed at you! <laughs> Throw Killer 62, hunting vengeance for Robin. When Robin is KO'd, give an action token to each opposing character within six squares. Wow. That's actually kind of good. Charge, sidestep, combat reflexes, close combat expert. Actually starts out with a pretty good dial, because that's 20 defense on his 18 there with his mm. combat reflexes. Has it all throughout his dial, too, so it never has a defense below 19 in a close range. Even though he has guns. This is Lashina. I believe she's a super rare, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, that's right, gold tab. Looks like her dial's starting to bubble up from age. But, uh... Point calls to 75. Starts out with 10, 10, 18, and 3. She has the Will of Apocalypse. Whatever, I've already explained that like three times. Where do you think you're going? Plasticity and Giant Reach of 3. Opposing characters in three squares of line of fire treat Lashina as adjacent when they're moving. So they got a roll for breakaway. 
Kiss of the Lash, Precision Strike. When Lashina hits with a close attack, after resolutions, you give the target an action token, too. So, bonus incapacitate. We are the Wrath of Dark Side, given form. Leadership. When Lashina uses and succeeds, adjacent friendly characters with female furies can use colossal stamina. Sidestep, Flurry, Blades, Claws, Fangs, Super Senses, and Combat Reflexes. There's another peek at her dial. She's pretty solid for a super rare, I'd say. She even has 19 and uh, 18 defense with her combat reflexes at close range. These next two I don't expect anything from because it's just a police officer. With a range of, with a damage of one. Ooh, it's so terrifying. I need backup! Power. Place up to two friendly characters with a police keyword within four squares. Which includes one of these Batmans, if I recall. Well, not too bad. Sidestep, toughness, defend, enhancement, and empower. Hmm. She's basically like a taxi cab, almost. To uh, transport more useful characters to her. Your toll fare is $23.50. What? <laughs> oh, Big Tony. Whoops, I forgot to get Big Tony out. He's so big, he's still stuck in a plastic. Big Tony. Come on, a hug will make us feel better. Perplex, only target adjacent friendly characters. Side stuff. You probably messed, because his attack is only 9 and then 8. And his damage is only 1. You suck. His defense is 16 and 15, and he only has three clicks of life. Yeah, he's only 15 points, we expect. Three left. Who will win? Will William give in to fatigue before he finishes this? Find out next time on Clicks and Coffee. What? Psych. I'm quitting on us now, are you? <laughs> Well, Norman, you are very lucky. You get more repeats. Yay. Thrill Harley Killer. Quinn. Thrill Killer Harley Quinn. And a slightly broken something majig. <laughs> Cop. Cop. Yep, yeah, that's the same Harley I'm double checking. Let me get out the cards and give them to you. I got a uh, slightly buffed mercenary, too. Yeah, this this uh, booster pack's kind of a bust, this one in particular. I got a Hive Commander to go with my Hive Soldier. He only deals 2 damage, but he has 10 with Penetrating Psychic Blast. Hmm. He's got flyby, running shot, penetrating psychic blast, toughness, energy shield deflection, leadership, and enhancement. Hmm. He's alright. Oh, I forgot to throw the plastic sleeve over here. You're probably wondering about the buffed looking mercenary. Let's see if she's any bad. Oh, she is. Duchess. Woo. She is better. Hold still. Focus in. There we go, guy. Le left for dead. Back for revenge. Free. Place. Replace Duchess with Lashina for free. Hmm. Ah, so she can interchange with her. Same person. What part of Suicide Squad don't you understand? Suicide Squad ability. Explosive Ordnance. Energy Explosion. When Duchess uses it, after resolution, she can use Smoke Cloud at no cost. Mm. Running Shot, Sidestep, Smoke Cloud, Toughness, Energy Shield, Deflection, Perplex, Range Combat Expert. I'd say that's a pretty solid dial. Not too shabby. Pretty good character. She's got the Suicide Squad team ability. 
just moving on. I'm gonna take these two out of the wrap so you get a better film. That one even had some weight in the bottom, significant weight. That's how you know it's legit. Got a queen bee here. Bzzz. Let's look closer at this queen bee. She has 110 point calls, and it seems to be warranted. She, she has seven slots of life, full of abilities. Wow, that's not bad. Mm -mm. She even has a. She can even summon drones. The only thing bad about her is her hair. <laughs> she can even summon drones. See. Drones. Which all have blades, claws, fangs with nine attack. Drones from my hive. Other friendly characters, a hive keyword or name B drone can use sidestep. Alien hatching. Power. Generate a B drone bystander at any time. And these things have are 7, 9, 15, and 1 with energy shield deflection. I mean, not energy shield deflection, but blades, claws, fangs. Hypnopollen. Mind control. When Queen Bee uses it, she has three bolts and she may target all opposing characters adjacent to an original target. Running shot. Muzzed. I do everything myself. I'm going to read all these bee puns out loud, by the way. So God help stop. us all. <laughs> Vulnerability. The color red is my only weakness. Toughness. Drones, lies, have no meaning, mastermind. Direct the swarm enhancement, the bee fighting style, close combat expert. Down to the wire, folks. Two left. Ten characters left. Hope there aren't repeats. Otherwise, Norman's gonna have a lot of characters take home with him. Who knows, maybe one of them's gonna be Prometheus for you. Prometheus. I just hope one of them is one of the characters I wanted so bad. Well, Norman, you get... Hello, we got two Scarecrows. How... Stargirl. This is a good one. Look at that. Hmm. Got big Tony, but... And if you recognize one of these Scarecrows is actually, uh... Here, you have your own big Tony. He'll be my cannon fodder. I don't know how I'm going to get Cat Girl out. I think I'm going to have to cut her out. Because her whip is stuck. Here's your Scarecrow. Scarecrow! Uh, ah! I think that's the same Scarecrow I got earlier. Because, uh... Silver Scythe. Actually, this is another Yellow Lantern Scarecrow right here. Hmm. I had no idea this one had him. But, uh... I gave, I went over Scarecrow in my, in my last unboxing, so if y'all are curious to look at this Scarecrow, go to that. I'm actually am going to cut her out. I don't want to take no chance of breaking her whip. The power of the exacto knife. This is a cat, cat woman. This is Bombshell's cat woman. From Bombshell's number 10. This Meow. Is her, this is her uh, dial. And there's a little kitty cat with her from the Bombshell too. Yep. This is her dial. Mm. If you scoff at first, she not only has the bombshell ability, but she has her own bombshell ability. Unique to her, like Wonder Woman. She has more secretive than you can imagine super senses. When Catwoman uses it, before rolling the d6, she may remove up to two bombshell tokens to increase the result by one for each token removed. So she could use her bombshell tokens to ensure her dodges. She has stealth, leap climb, precision strike, blades, lost fangs. Regular Super Senses, Outwit, and Perplex. That is uh, another look at her card. Buckethead! <laughs> another look at the Catwoman card. Meow. 
You could say she's the cat's meow. I'm excited to look at both of these. I guess Bombshell comes out first. Bombshell Stargirl. Timber. That sounded heavy. It does. Maybe it's the God of Knowledge. She's a rare. She is. Now you see, I wanted her really bad. I meant to say Stargirl, not Power Girl earlier, so botch. Coming botch. All right, now here's why. Uh, she has Bombshell, but she also has Staff. Incapacitate, ranged combat expert, telekinesis. When Stargirl uses one of her listed powers, after resolutions, roll a d6. And add one to result for each Bombshell token she has. If the result is eight or higher, she may use another listed power and use it as a free action. Excellent. And that's why I wanted her. Protect my sister. Adjacent character named Supergirl or with a bombshell keyword can use energy shield deflection. Place her next to Wonder Woman, and Wonder Woman now has a 20 defense against ranged. 20, or 21 if uh, hardly perplexed her. Actually, she could perplex too. So, uh. Hey, Norman. 22 defense against ranged and close. <laughs> Getting the staff. Stop. When you reveal the, this click for the first time after resolutions, play Stargirl in your starting area. What that does is uh, it stops her on a click where she deals three damage. She has Earthbound Neutralize, Toughness, Energy Shield Deflection, and Perplex. The Bombshell piece I definitely wanted. Now let's take a look at the Sinestro Core Scarecrow. If you recall, we got one of these from the Blackest Night set. Now we have one from Harley and the Gotham Girls. Let's see how I like his sculpt. Got a little loose around his neck. Honestly, it looks like it's the, an energy scythe. Dun, 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 dun. He deals some pretty good damage, too. This sucker's capable of 9, 11, 17, and 3 with penetrating psychic blast. That's nasty. Mm. Fear distilled, perplexed, but only to modify a value minus one. When Scarecrow uses it, calculate the target's defense. If it's 15 or less after resolution, deal the target one penetrating damage. He has running shot, force blast, mind control, penetrating psychic blast, poison, energy shield deflection, and willpower. That's a solid dial. Mm -hmm. Maybe one of the best scarecrows I've seen. Love and attack to start out with, not bad. It's with the three attack, with the three damage, and uh, penetrating, it's very good. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. This is heavy. Hopefully it's not just a brick. Norman, you're in the lock. Ah! Box attack. I'm not in lock, but you're in lock. Because four of these pieces are yours. Really? Yeah. Knock out. Old Wonder Woman. Uh, Dr. Harleen Quinzel. This isn't turning out to... Well, I got a lot of cool characters. Uh, I'm disappointed that none of these, none of these were here. Dude, watch the map. Especially that one. Very really disappointed I didn't get her. But, uh, Norman, guess who you got? What's that? Uh, this is Prometheus. It is? Yep, you got Prometheus. That's what was so heavy in here. This is Norman's piece. Hmm. He has a really cool sculpt, too. He is a rare. Hmm. It's got all these weird, shiny things coming off. He has a pretty nice cool ability, too. 
Don't download a counter to your abilities. Free. Choose a standard attack and damage power. Prometheus can use these powers until your next turn. All throughout his whole life. So you could take any attack or damage ability you want. Outwit, close combat expert, range combat expert, exploit weakness, uh, penetrating psychic blast, whatever you want, you get it for free. Alright, now, th now this alone makes him pretty dangerous. Look at that. Wow, so he can literally pick whatever ability he wants. And he can do it on the same turn with 11 attack and 3 damage. He also has the ability to dodge roll called the Anti-Batman. He has Sidestep, Toughness, and Perplex. Plus he has a little key code here that I think is... A, isn't that unhindered targeting? Mm, let me see. Improved targeting. Improved targeting. Excellent. So this is Norman's Prometheus, I promised him. Excellent. I thought Norman would appreciate that. You know what it is, William? What? Excellent. Oh dear. Big Bardo, I can't get you out of the wrap. Oh, you got one of the uh, Alpha Flurries. I did. Well, I didn't get a Bombshell Supergirl, Bombshell Ivy, Bombshell Zatanna, or any of my Harleys I specifically wanted. I even gotten Lou, for God's sake. But, I did get Big Barda. This is a look at Big Barda's card. Pay attention to the first click in particular. Hmm. Eleven Penetrain Psychic Blast. With uh, 17 damage, Invincible, running... 17 shot. damage? Oh no! Ah! Defense, 10 attack, 10 range, running shot, 10 speed, I mean, and 4 damage with a damage ability, Granny's Pride and Joy. Leadership, when Big Barda uses it and succeeds, choosing power and enhancement, she could use this till her next turn. Big Barda here. She has Running Shot, Charge, Flurry, Penetrating Psychic Blast, Super Strength, Invincible, Invulnerability, and Toughness. She has Will of Apocalypse that gives her the protection if she hits successfully. Female Furies, Warrior Apocalypse. She is actually not a Prime. See, she's number 23A, and there's a Prime version of her. Hmm. So, uh, she's my... She is only 23A, which means I did not get the Prime Big Bardo. Which means to our viewers, look for 23B. See if you can get her. Alright, I'm going to go over this a little bit. You know, he sucks so much of the Prime, they forgot to put his ring on. The only vindication's a B. <laughs> this here is probably the most disappointing thing I could... Oh uh, well, at least I got. You got a giant super rare, at least. Yeah, I did. But I was referring to her. These are my primes from this booster brick pull. The prime duo. Actually, I might end up selling Lou. For those of you interested, I be unless I'm mistaken, I actually saw Lou going for like thirty bucks. Which is a lot more than I pay for this thing. Whew. So I might actually sell him. I'll tell y'all if I do. So if I do, I'll post it on Facebook, link you to the eBay upload. Main one of you are nuts to get your hands on this. I don't know why. But I'm happy I got her, uh, Sinestro Core Harley. Even though she is the derpiest looking hardly I got. Regardless, uh, favorite pieces I got are Harley, Giganta, and my bombshells and Sinestro Stick Scarecrow. Least favorite I got is, uh, Lou. And this has been Willie of Clicks and Coffee wishing you good gaming and farewell.